Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya, this is Saya Swag. And today we will be doing the second video for the secret sewing project from Shambhala Bags on the Cielo bag. And we will be doing steps 10 through 24. There is a video before this one that I published on November 30th, that is steps zero through nine. So if you're like, what is she talking about? Go check out the first video. It is a fun little project that you can be working on. And trust me, this bag is adorable. So we do it in steps and you're given the pattern in certain steps and then we will finish it together. Okay, so let's get started on steps 10 through 24. So we are going to be putting together the exterior of your bag, front and back. So you should have one, two, three, four, five total pieces. So first we're going to work on our two side outside pieces. So these should all be mirrored pieces that you have cut to make sure that you lay them all correctly together. I kind of laid all mine out to make sure I was sewing the correct pieces to each other. All right, so that is what we want our first part to look like. So you're gonna take this and fold and we are going to be sewing this together. Okay, and we are going to sew along here at a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Okay, and then after you do that, you're going to open this up. You are going to lay your seam flat. You're gonna flatten your seam on the other side and we are going to top stitch down each side of that seam, flattening it out. And I kind of press my seam allowance open as I go with my fingers underneath here. You could put double-sided tape behind there if you really wanted to, but this, seems to work for me just fine. All right, and then go back up the other side. Make sure it's still flat in the back. Okay, so that is what it should look like front, back. Go ahead and repeat for this other side here.
Okay, so after you have your two side pieces done, you're going to grab your middle panel piece. All right, and we are going, oh, it's like this. I was wrong in the beginning. Okay, here we go. So you wanna grab this and we're gonna sew these two together now. And do you see how it's flat on this pattern piece right here? That's to line up with the top of this piece that you're sewing it onto. So that's where you line it up. Okay, go ahead and sew that together at a 1 4th inch seam allowance. And then you're going to open and top stitch just like you did with the other pieces. Flatten that seam out. Okay, so now those ones are connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other side to this bag right here. and then open and top stitch. Okay, that looks so cool. That is your front panel, back panel, whichever one you want to make it. I'm going to go ahead and repeat for the other side before we move on to the next step.
Okay, so after you had the front and back pieces assembled, we are going to be adding this top band. Again, I'm just leaving mine raw edged or you can do the finished edge like um, I showed you on the other piece. So I just put a couple of pieces of double-sided tape on the back of this. I wanna leave it out of this top area though because we will be trimming this back to get the extra bulk out of our top seam allowance. You don't want both layers of vinyl in this top seam allowance, so just be aware of that. So I'm just taking this off so it stays in place while I stitch it onto my piece. So you wanna line that up as best you can. Okay, I'm just gonna do just a couple clips on it. And then I'm going to top stitch this onto my main panel piece. All right, so I'm going to top stitch along this curved edge. like that. Very cute. So I am going to cut this extra out of my seam allowance here. This back panel part, okay? I'm just going to cut a little bit of that out because we don't want to have that in our top seam when we're assembling the bag in the end, okay? So that just makes it a little bit thinner up top. Okay, so I'm going to repeat with the other panel right here same steps Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and put on my Decaville light to my front and back pieces. It's already attached to my gussets. So I'm going to adhere my Decaville light to my front and back, and then we will continue. 
Okay, so our next step is going to be adding these connectors. I've, I've put on my Decaville light. I used a Teflon sheet and um, my heat press and carefully put my Decaville light on. If you wanna do foam, fleece, it's up to you what you use, but I did Decaville light. There are um, markings on your top band pattern piece that you need to transfer to your bag, and that is where your strap connectors are gonna go or whatever you're doing for your strap. So I am doing these strap connectors. So I have the center of where I want my strap connector to be there. All right, and then I'm going to take my washer and center my washer on that. And that looks about right. Okay, and then I'm going to do four little lines where that washer has holes. And hopefully that lines up with my connectors. Okay, so here's my connector. If you're doing these, the pointy edge goes down. All right. And you're going to slide those in those lines that we just made. All right, just like that. And then I have cut pieces of Peltex out to put behind these because, I mean, these are gonna be holding your bag. So you really do wanna put some extra stabilizer of some kind back behind there. And I will make sure that this is kind of clipped out of my top seam allowance here because you definitely don't wanna have to sew over that. And then you put your washer on. Well, I think for these you go in actually. You could do, fold them however. I think I'm gonna fold mine in. And then I will put some tape over that. Okay, so that's the back, that's the front. Pretty stable. They're in there. Okay, so I'll put some duct tape over that and call it good. So go ahead and do the other connectors, you know, if you have a different method of how you do your connectors, go for it. Like I said, I actually am using these for the first time. So this is how I am doing it. All right, so that's my first one. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for my other panel and we will go to the next step. Okay, so I have all four of my connectors on and I went ahead and put my nameplate on my front one. I found the center down the middle here and I'm going to wait to put my other piece of my lock until I Put my flap on because mine's just a little bit different than the instructions because it's a twist so i'm just holding out for that one but if you have the thumb lock there's placement on the pattern piece and you can go ahead and put your thumb lock piece in there if you would like so i'm going to go to my back piece and apply the flap 
So I have done the markings that is set on the pattern and found where I want to put my flap. And you could do double-sided tape on it if you would like. I'm just going to fold, find my center and place because I just don't want that extra double-sided tape there. All right, just like that. And I'm going to do another top stitch along this flap. And then I will also do some rivets in the corner. Okay, so I've got my flap on. I'm gonna put a rivet here and a rivet here. All right. other half of my rivet fell. <laughs> All right. Okay, next up. Okay, now this part is optional. I'm going to add piping to um, this bottom part of the bag. You don't have to do this, but I think it will look really cute with this color blocking. So I just cut out a strip of my vinyl and I folded it over. Like it's nothing fancy. It's not actual piping, but um, it works the same way. I could go ahead and put piping in there if I wanted to, but... I kind of like the way this looks, so it's up to you how you want to do it. Whatever kind of piping you want to do. All right, so there is markings for your start and stop of your piping on your exterior main panel part A. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but I have mine marked where I am starting and stopping on there. So you want to just clip the raw edge of your piping to the outside of your bag. Now I'm doing it just a little bit below where I am beginning because when you begin, you kind of pull your piping at an angle right there um, to start and stop, okay? So I'm doing it right below there. And you just wanna take it and clip it along your bag. If you need to put some clips into your piping to curve with it, that is an option, but this curve isn't too tight. I think it'll be fine without putting any clips in it for this at least from what I'm using. And then I'm just going to baste this piping on at an eighth of an inch seam allowance because when we sew the whole bag together, it's done at a fourth of an inch, so you don't want that stitching showing, right? It's pretty simple. Don't let piping scare you. It's not hard at all, and it adds such a cute accent to any bag. I would highly suggest trying it. Okay. 
So that is what that looks like all clipped on. And then I'm just gonna baste this on at a fourth inch seam allowance. So I'm kind of pulling this out right where that line is. And that's where I'm starting. Again, I'm just basting. And then make sure you come back off at your other line here. So it should be pretty even where it comes on and off. And you can trim that extra off right there too. Just trim it down right there. And that is what my piping looks like. Look how cute that's gonna look. Definitely, definitely try that. I think that'll look really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I am gonna add my lock. I forgot I need to add my lock still. So I will do that after I do this other side of piping. Okay, we're done for this video. That was steps 10 through 24. Your bag should look somewhat like this. Okay, we have our strap connectors, our flap, our, I put my turn lock on or your thumb lock, whatever piece that is should be on, your piping and your interfacing. Okay, so the next video will be completing the bag and it comes out on December 10th. So get to this step and join me December 10th to finish this gorgeous bag. Thank you guys.